Hey everyone, excuse my attire, it's been a busy day. Usually Mondays and Tuesdays are days we ship, but Monday was a holiday, so no shipping on Monday. So anyway, everybody's been asking for an update on the back pepper field, which is like I said, primarily I've said before in our videos, ahis, but we've also got a lot of other peppers back here, including a lot of sweet peppers, Thai chilies, um, peri peris, uh, and what I just harvested. So we'll get to that in a second if you want to see what I just harvested. But I'm going to turn you around, talk to you about this, and talk to you about the disaster. And we knew this would be a disaster this year, but we were just out of time. Things had to be planted. You know, you, you do what you can do with what you got to work with, and I didn't get other plots prepped in time, and next year's another year so it extends we're getting ready to take this fence down probably tomorrow and mow around everything clean it all up then put the electric fence back up we got to do that to keep groundhogs out but it goes down there almost to that building just a few feet from it and right about where you see all those grass standing up there johnson grass right there that's where the patch goes to so talk about this at the end of the video anybody know what this is anybody guess what this is hmm? I think I'll not talk about the end of the video Comment below if you know what that is. Comment below if you want to know what that is. So, I can't show you everything because I got stuff to do tonight. But here is our Korean gochus. And we just cleaned these things out top to bottom. Uh, we dry those and make a uh, gochurong flake with them. Uh, we sell those flakes locally and shipped anywhere in the state of Tennessee, but we also use a lot of it, so it's good to have it on hand. So, looks like a peri peri of some sort. Let's see if I can find the tag. And yeah, I can't find the tag, and I don't have the book with me, so. Not sure, but obviously. And here is our Kaza peppers. And we have harvested bushels off of these. Um, it would remind you of a Hungarian hot wax. Got wads and wads of them still. We got some little cucumbers coming on, late harvest. So, excited about that late crop. Here we are, we are loaded down. These need to be picked. Um, it's gonna have to wait, not today, probably tomorrow they're all gonna come out of there. Tons coming on. And look at these guys. Loaded. Got some okra over there we're picking off of. Got some eggplant back there. Let me take you over and show you that. I'm going to stop by. So, this is the zebrange. Now, that's not what you're looking for, but it does happen. This is what we're wanting. We just harvested these, so there's not a lot here. That's what you're looking for. And that is an absolutely stunning pod. Very mild heat, but delicious. It's another one of them. So, these are eggplants. Babies are cranking out some eggplants. 
There's another one of them. So, over here we have our shishitos. Oh, but there's another one of them. So, here's our shishitos. We have picked bushels and bushels. We've got more to go. So back there is Jimmy Nardello's right there in the middle. Try not to walk on plants while I'm showing you the tour. So got some bell peppers that fell over and got sun scorched. In case you don't know, bell peppers, a lot of peppers will do that, but bell peppers especially, they need a leaf cover. Um, so if you don't have a good leaf cover, you gotta have shade cloth. But these guys, if I'd staked them up, they would have done better. We just got behind like we always do, and that was something that got sacrificed, unfortunately, and we lost some bell peppers. Um, it happens. So here's a real nice pepper. How pretty that is. That's a ram's horn. So that's a hot pepper. This is a sweet pepper. This is a Ajvarsky. They get bigger than that also. Beautiful. You can see. Look at that. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. And here are our sweet chocolate bell peppers. Been a great year for them. We don't just grow hot. We grow sweet too. Our motto is sweet to melt your face. So we grow everything from Something anyone could eat that isn't allergic to peppers anyway. I found out some people are allergic to peppers. But anything from sweet for just anybody all the way up to melt your face. And we enjoy all of them. Um, we like it sweet and we like it hot. Mild hot, medium hot, hot, habanero hot, super hot. These beautiful okra. Look at that. Look at that. Gotta check my book to know what that is. And look at these gorgeous eggplants. Got some young ones coming on. Not sure what plant this is. That's beautiful. I'm going to tag here anywhere close. Yep, right there. Yeah, that's the one I can't pronounce. Shervina chuska. It's a sweet pepper. Pick you one and show it to you. Look at that. Ain't that beautiful? Love it. Now these egg, these uh, sorry, these okra would have been taller than this by now, but we had groundhog issues, so they had to grow twice. What's that? So, got some squash, about done. This is our 
ours. This is a strawberry kiss. Let's see if she just picked these. I don't have a real good ripe red one, but this is close. They get darker than that. And our pineapple kiss is right here. These are ours. I picked a bunch of these earlier off of this one. Got some bug damage, but it's about right. We've got lemon drops over there coming on. Ahi uh, habaneros are starting to crank out. Ahi <clears throat> uh, habanero is one seriously heavy productive plant. We've had a bad drought year and I promise you we haven't watered this stuff nearly enough. And they still have produced well. So this is a little Brazilian pumpkin. Check that out. Oof, I'm so good. So good, juicy. Mmm. What a fresh taste. Mmm. They have almost no heat in this outer part of the flesh. But when you get back there into the center, around the seeds, they start to kick up a little bit. Oh, so good in a fresh salsa. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Um, probably Sugar Rush Peach here. It is, so there is a sugar rush peach plant. We done started picking off of these. Sorry about the lighting. It's getting dark out here. Uh let's see. So here's lemon drops. He just picked, so no ripe ones, but look at the size of that thing. Mm, love it. And Ahi Nortinos, they are no ripe ones here. She just picked them. And then we've got some Ahi Charpitas here. Look here, them Ahi Charpitas. Mm. I mean, that's a massive pepper. Now, these were supposed to be ahi charpitas. We bought those seeds. We didn't have any. That's not an ahi charpita. So, these guys. Ahi Fantasy, I think. Ain't that gorgeous? This guy. Let's see if I can find a tag. Actually, that is a Mad Hatter. So, I thought we, that's, that's when I saw that one, I knew it wasn't Ahi Fantasy. So, that's our Mad Hatters, which is what that is. Got a whole row of them here. These are Ahi Peruvians. Wonderful productive pepper. Tastes great. I mean, look at that. Mmm. Love it. And I'm sure I'm going to butcher this name. But a Ahi a yo yo. So they start out kind of purple. They lighten up. They go through another shade. And they go through this. And then they turn to this. It's very peppery. The flavor reminiscent of black pepper. Tastes great. 
Mm. Very mild. Amazing flavor. Wow. We're going to be pickling some of these probably tomorrow. I think that'll make a great snack this winter. Wow. Ooh. Has a little bit of heat. That black pepper flavor to it. Oh, man. Mmm. And over here we got Brazilian starfish and Brazilian till I mow. I'm not able to see all that. But they're in there. And that back roll is bell peppers. So guys, this is part of our 4,200 plus. We got over 4,200 pepper plants on the farm. Year. Um, next year we'll use about double this much space. This is only one of three, technically four plots, but the fourth plot is an experimental plot that's kind of small. Um, and unfortunately we let weeds take a lot of that. But tomorrow we got to clean this one up if the weather doesn't turn off nasty or something. Um, we're not going to gripe over rain, we need it. Um, but we got ahi mango stumpies in here and ahi mango longs. There's a lot. Ahi nortinos. Ahi Santa Cruz. So. Guys, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Follow us. Um, feel free to ask questions. Don't forget to comment on what you think that plant was I showed you. I'll give you a hint, it's not a pepper. And uh, share this video with your friends neighbors. Thank you. Till next time.